The solar industry is being forced to adopt CFDs from April 2015 instead of the RO framework under which it had previously excelled. But could CFDs prove better for sales? Here are two experts in the field, Alan John and Lars Weber, speaking at Solar Media's Large Scale Solar UK event. Yeah, CFDs should be simpler. They should be much simpler. It's a very simple concept. If you're short in the market, we'll top you up from reference price to strike price. But it is a complicated mechanism. Bidding for them is complicated and the uncertainty that goes with them um, is, is something that we're all going to have to, to grow to live with. There's a standardization of contracts. That's great. That is really good news. They may be long, 350 pages, but they're, they're going to be pretty standard. The front end uh, is going to be um, tailored, but the back end is going to be pretty much untouched. You won't be able to touch them, which is actually quite a relief rather than having to negotiate every time. Greater certainty than rocks? Absolutely, in terms of price volatility, etc. No carrying for recycle uh, amounts. You know, rocks are complicated. They're horrible things, but we've got used to them. They're now familiar. So there is greater certainty. Not yet market tested. We really don't know what it's going to be all about. It's an unfamiliar creature on the block. It's a 15-year term rather than a 20-year term. It, it deals with loss-adjusted meter readings rather than meter readings. And finally, just as a reminder, two points. You still need a PPA. Don't forget that. Don't just get a CFD and think you've done that job. And Afterwards, I would love to hear from you if you've got an idea as to what strike price you're going to be bidding in if you're playing in the market come this December. And I'm assuming that you're producing 10,000 megawatt hours every year. It could be 20, it could be 5, actually it doesn't matter because both lines will scale up or down because it's about money per megawatt hour. And you see something quite interesting. After 15 years when your CFD ends, under the CFD you would achieve an amazing 40%, 60% more if you look at it from the road part, under the CFD. Now, if I would be an institutional investor, I would say, I couldn't care less what the power market is doing because I want to have that CFD money. The beauty of it is also that you're going to get your CFD money 28 days after the fact that you have produced. And you get our money also around about the same time. So rather than today having to wait for four, five, six months before you get the money back for your, uh, for your rocks, you just get everything in monthly arrears. Isn't that nice to be able to say to your investor, no matter what happens, my maximum counterparty risk is just 45 days? The, the direction of travel is towards uh, constrained allocation and auctioning. We've got to get used to it. It's tough. It's back to the old NOFO days. It's tough, um, but it's coming. Keep your eyes on Solar Power Portal as over the coming weeks we'll be providing a CFD toolkit with feature videos, interviews and articles to help ease the transition into the new financial framework.